What's up, YouTube? Jay Travelin here. Uh, today, you know, it's Friday, about 11.30, sitting here hoping for a Best Buy drop. I got my coffee here ready, and I also have a Yingling Lager Victory beer if I do end up seeing a drop and landing a GPU. I have my celebratory beer. But before that, I'm going to show you guys how I set up my Hive OS rig to have multiple miners on it. Now I did this because I put my 1050 Ti on my rig with my 3060 Ti and 3070. So I wanted them to still mine Ethereum, but I wanted the 1050 Ti to mine Ravencoin so I could benchmark it to show you guys the profitability of it in my last video. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I set that miner up so it told um, which graphics card to mine on which miner. And I'll also show you how to uh, remote in and switch between the miners. It's very easy. It actually tells you in the bottom right hand corner. But I'll show you how to do that and I'll show you guys the rig running in Hive OS. So let's go inside the computer and check it out. So here we are inside the farm here. As you can see, it's it's set up on this rig you see too. Now this is different than dual mining. Um, that's when you use the same cars to mine multiple coins, and that's a different setup that I I have tried on my P10690s to set up for Raven and, and Zill, and it wasn't successful. Uh, I believe it's due to the three gigabyte limit. But if somebody has set up, you know, their three gigabyte cars to mine Raven coin and Zillow at the same time, please let me know and help me through that process. Uh, I have yet to get that to mine effectively, but this one you'll see. This is actually two miner setup: T Rex and G Miner. So. This setup was fairly simple in the flight sheets. So I'll, I'll walk you through that here. So when I go into edit the flight sheet, you'll see I have two miners. So I actually added the second miner. So if I pretty much, I don't want to delete because I had to reconfigure it. I was going to delete it to show you, but I pretty much just add the second miner. As you see, you can add a miner here. You'll cl click on the coin, click on your wallet, pick your pool, and then pick the miner that you want to use. Now, when you do this, you can't select the same miners. So if you're doing, dual, like adding a second miner, you have to use a different miner and it will install it. So in the configuration here, it's a little different on both of them, but you can see device too. So I just look at pretty much what GPUs are what. So I knew the 1050 Ti is GPU too. So when I'm in my flight sheet and I'm editing it, I knew you can look in this little tab says the down here device space zero one three so that's telling it what GPU to use. So this one's dash dash device space two. So now it knows to use GPU two to mine Kapow on G miner. And now in my T Rex miner, it was a little different. So you see in parentheses I put devices uh, semicolon, and then in parentheses I put zero com uh, zero one. And then parentheses to close. So now it's telling GPU zero and one to mine Ethereum on the high volume pool on T Rex miner. So that's how I set it up. Not too hard. Uh, and then inside the miner, you see my overclocks here. Now I got this to sit on par with my 1063 gigabytes, which isn't too bad. So if you go into the actual miner, here it is. This is, you can see my 10, uh, 3060 Ti and 3070 mining. My 3070 hasn't been too great for me. Uh, sits about the same as my 3060 Ti. It is the EVGA XC3 edition. Uh, it went a little unstable when I had it overclocked a little more, but that's I can we can talk about that in a different video if, we, if I want to. But here you'll see in the bottom right to exit Control AD, but to switch Control AA. So if I hold Control and hit AA. Now it switches to my G minor and it tells you in brackets down here in the red brackets, which one you're on. So I can switch through now on windows. I can do this when I'm on my computer, when I'm logged in on my phone, uh, I use an iPhone. I don't have a control button on that that I know of. So I can't switch between the miners on there. Not that I really do switch between them. I usually just check my rigs to make sure that they're up and running properly. I don't really need to log into them on my cell phone remote in uh it, it not that it's pointless but i just don't need to do that so that's my two miners set up on one rig now 
the rig you guys can see in the previous video when I did my 1050 Ti benchmark and profitability, it's still sitting in my basement, all hooked up to one motherboard, running hives. So you may ask why I would do something like this, not set up a second rig. Well, one, I don't want to pay the board cost of running another 50, 60, 70 watts per hour just to run another motherboard. And two, right now I only have four rigs on Hive OS. And once I get that at fifth rig, I have to start either paying per rig or a percentage. So instead I just set up two different miners on one rig so I don't have to do that. So that's how I set it up with two different miners on the same rig. Uh, and like I said, the reason I would do that is just so I can keep the number of rigs down on my Hive OS. Uh, you're, so you either, I, I can't remember the percentage you pay, but you could pay per rig, which is about $3 per month. So instead of having a fifth rig or a sixth rig on there, and that's the same reason why my test bench and my two by 30 60 rig, well, my two by 30 60 rig right now isn't on Hive OS because the driver that you need to use to mine Ethereum is only on Windows. So that's why that's on Windows. They don't have a Linux version of it yet that I know of. And then my test bench isn't on Hive OS because then I would have a fifth rig on there. And right now I don't want to start paying for the rigs until I get a few more of them at least fully built out. Uh, I'm still in the process of building out my 30 series rig. Uh, like I said, I still have right down here, you guys see, I still have this that I picked up the other day uh, to put on it, a Strix 3070. So that's still got to go on it. Uh, I got the risers, but I'm still waiting on the splitters that should be here any day so that I can power my risers by six pin and not by SATA. Now I know the 3080 will burn out SATA powered risers pretty quickly from what I understand. So I, I don't want to run to that and run the risk of having any type of issues with the rig or possibly even a worst case scenario, running the risk of an electrical fire because my because of my rig. Um, I have seen burnt out SATA ports online, not personally. And I just don't want to go down that path. I want to safely run it. Uh, and I did order more risers, like I said in the previous video, uh, they're actually being delivered today maybe or tomorrow for my 5600 XT rig. So I'll get those risers changed out also. So I have to order even more splitters for that. But I'm in the process of building out that 30 series rig and hopefully I can get another 3080 for there. But we'll see, maybe this Best Buy drop that's hope, hopefully going to happen today. I don't have any word of it will we'll, uh, happen. I know at the time of you viewing this video, it's going to be probably tomorrow, so the Best Buy drop will have happened by then. So if I do get anything, you'll see an update video of different, more cards going on it. But, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Hopefully that helps somebody that was looking to put multiple different cards on the same rig and set up different miners. Now, it looks like you can have more than just two on there. I don't know the max number. I'm assuming if you have a six-card rig, you can probably go up to six different miners. But just remember, it's going to take up more space on your memory card, and it could possibly cause some instability. If you have multi, if you have more miners running, uh, obviously I didn't test that, so do it at your own risk. But it shouldn't really mess anything up having more. But that did that's just to show you how to distinguish what GPUs to use for which miner. Now the setup on Windows should be fairly similar, but I haven't done it personally myself, so I haven't gone down that path of having to uh, change you know the bat files to distinguish which GPUs to use for which miner. I know it's possible, I've heard of it, but I haven't done it personally. You know, thanks for checking this video out. Let me know if you have mine, miners set up the same way with different GPUs on the same rig, mining on different coins and different uh, miners. But thanks for checking it out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more.